Well, hello there. How you doing? I hope you're doing fine. I don't know how I'm doing, but I wish the sun would shine. Anyway, enough of this triviality and this troverosity and crock a poopity and all this rhinorosity. So how's everyone doing out there in YouTube land? How are you doing there? Hi there, how's everybody doing? I'm so happy that you're happy. I'm sorry I haven't been on in a few, well, it hasn't been two weeks. I think it's been maybe ten days. I don't know. I just couldn't get my mojo up. You know what happens when your mojo goes down? It's just really hard to get it up. And I couldn't get mine up. But I got it up. And here I am. And I'm here to talk about skin care. Don't fall off your chair. Don't fall off your chair. Susie never talks about skin care. Well, first of all, I'm on a can't buy. So I'm not buying any makeup. Second of all, at the ripe old age of 67, I've decided... And with each year that passes, I've decided that after years and years and years of not really doing anything for my skin, except using Dove soap, I should be on a Dove soap commercial, and Noxema, and Oil of Olay, um, the occasional, the occasional, what do you call that thingy on your face, the exfoliating thingamajiggy. And, oh yeah, exfoli exfoliating thingamajiggy, where are you, where are you, more to add to my little loot box here, Ma -da -dee -dum -da -dum. hold on a second here, I am just so organized, so, 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 I am hunting through my everyday makeup drawer, some people would call it a junk drawer, but it was very small, it is my everyday makeup drawer, but there is so much stuff in it now. Hold on a second here. I shall go down to... There it is. Here we go. Alrighty. I'll put that over there on the pile. There. So, anyways. So the longer the longer I've been going to dialysis, and for those of you who are new, I'm, uh, I go to dialysis three times a week, and my liquid intake is very, very limited. And... That is an absolute horror to anybody who likes to drink, and I love to drink. But it is also terrible to not be able to get a lot of um, water or any kind of a lot of liquid into your body because it makes your skin hyd hydrate or un whatever. It's good for your skin. It's good for everything. And so in the little predicament I'm in, I have to, um, the way I hydrate my face is I, I use a lot of spray or I just throw water on it and everything else. But I've decided it's time to get serious about my skin. And so I've been getting serious about my skin. And uh, so I want to tell you about a few little products I've been using. So where do I begin? Where do I begin? I found a miracle product. I found another miracle product, I tell you. Guess what it is? Elf. Yes, it's Elf Mist. But it's not. It's not this one. It's not that one. Where is it? It's not that one. It's this one. And this one... I shall demonstrate. This one is an illuminating mist. So, for all the money we spend on highlighters and getting that dewy look and anything, whatever, this is a, <coughs> it's amazing. It makes you glow. It just makes you glow like a little moonbeam, I tell you. It makes you glow. I'm glowing, I'm glowing like a little disco ball. That, that is one of my big finds. Excuse me. Now I've got a, an itchy nose. 
Before I get into my other stuff, let's talk about what's new here. What's new with Susie? Well, uh, hmm, a lot of stuff has been going on in my life, and as most of you know, I don't like to make my videos about whining and complaining because those kind of videos drive me absolutely bonkers. But we are human, and I like to keep my uh, channel real, and so I am facing a really, really big, big problem. One of the big problems I'm facing is that I'm really losing my ability to walk. I am finding it almost impossible to walk even a short distance, and this is really, really scaring the crap out of me because uh, I could do not that much before, and now it's even more limited. The pain is worse. Just getting to the hospital for dialysis is a nightmare, and I am terrified of falling. And not only that, but I just hope that all you people out there, I really, really hope that you have anybody who's ill, I hope that you have children who care enough to take care of, of you or to help take care of you because I am not in that predicament. I don't know why. I don't know what I ever did. I really don't. But I have two sons who just seem to figure, oh, mom's fine. She's fine. She's living in a residence and everything is hunky dory and we don't have to go and help mom. We don't have to help her take out her garbage. You see, this is going to become a wine. So this is what I'm going through. I don't have any help. I don't have anyone to help do things for me that I can't do. And being full of pride, like a lot of us are, I hate like hell to ask anybody to help me. I can't stand asking anyone for help. But, and at my, my age, I'm not old. At my age, I figured I'd be, you know, I mean, there's people living in this building who are running around in jeans and high heels and everything. And I hate being dependent on anyone. And the thought of going into a wheelchair, it's like there's no way I'm doing it until I really literally fall on my knees. But if I end up in a wheelchair, I don't know what I'm going to do because I don't know where I'm going to go. And that would mean going into a room and getting rid of my two cats. And that's not going to happen. So I'm in a conundrum here. Anyway, huh, so I got that out. So that's what's been going on in my life. Plus, uh, Holly Woggle's been going through hell. She almost lost her house. And now that seems to be straightening itself out. And um, because of all that crap going on, Holly hasn't been able to come over and help me. So I've been, I feel like I've been literally stranded and uh, having a hell of a good time here. So that's why I was watching somebody, um, somebody doing a video this morning. They said they just didn't feel like doing a video. Well, I just didn't feel like doing a video. And then I said, okay, do a video because it's going to make you feel better because it always does. Now, if this little baby doesn't cut off. So let's get back to my skin care. So anyways, I decided that I have to really, really start taking care of my skin, which, which I've been doing to the best of my ability. I mean, I wash it with cleansers and everything. And as everybody who knows me knows, who knows me knows, my favorite, my favorite moisturizer is Clarins. And I use Clarins faithfully. But guess what? Clarins is about 120 bucks a pop. I can't afford that anymore. They've raised my rent in here four times in the last five years. So that's a no-no. So I had to go on a hunt for another alternative to Clarins. And so what I have come up with is... Da -da 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 -da! I am using... What am I using? Nestle's? No. What the hell is this? This is... L'Oreal, the L'Oreal Revitalizer, Revitalift, and it is wonderful. See? You put that on your, on your face in the morning, and you put that on your face at night, and it revitalizes and gives you a lift. And it's really, really, feels great. And the one thing I like about this set, the Clarence, the Clarence has um, little exfoliating things in it, and I don't like that. And then the other little gem I use is the Neutrogena, the Hydro Boost. Now, I put this on my boobs. No, just kidding. This is, this is really neat. It's like a jelly. It's like a jelly. And so I put that all over my mug in the morning and all over my mug at night. So let's put, let's put it this way. My face is getting saturated, saturated with things. What do I do with this? Okay, I'll hydrate my... 
inner wrist. Now, next, another find. I use, I usually use, um, um, for exfoliators, I use, uh, I usually go out and I dig sand out of the, out of the, uh, the um, pit holes. Pit holes? Pit, pit, whatever. No. The, um, you know those things, the holes that cars fall into? Well, anyways, I'm not able to do that anymore, so. And before that, I was using St. Ives, and I discovered another little gem. Elf! They have exfoliating cream. And it is just literally. Doesn't uh, I like things that smell, but it doesn't have a smell. And, you know, as you all know, Elf is, like, not expensive at all. And so I got... I got myself an Elf Exfoliator, and I'm really happy. I also got, because everybody has that effervescent or iridescent compact thing that you make your face glow with, well, I got, I got this. And what I do with that is I take, I take a big brush. I take a big brush, and I just go over the whole thing, and I just illuminate my face. And I make myself even shinier, like a disco ball, because I like to be dewy. Oh, yes, I do. I do like to be dewy. Oh, I do like to be dewy in the morning. Now, last but not least, wipes. Natalie, the tinkerhead, was cracking up laughing because I had gotten some wipes. And I was bitching about them. I said, God, I can't find any wipes I like except these ones, which I'll tell you about. And she started laughing, and she said, read it, read to me what you bought. So I read to her what I bought, and what I bought was, but actually, Natalie, you see, you're not really right, because I bought Olay wet cleaning towelettes, and they're damp, but they're crap. They're, they're not really wet. And she started laughing. She says, you have to take those into the bathroom, run water over them, and suds come out. I tried that. That didn't happen, and then I reread them again. I'm sorry. And and they are cleaning wipes. So if anybody wants to buy cleaning wipes and you're thinking of buying oil Olay, they don't call it oil of Olay. Don't buy these. Yeah. They're not so hot. The ones that are even better than those ones are the elf ones. But my favorite of all favorite is this one here. And it's called Cosmia. See? Now these ones here, I like it because it's got the little plastic doohickey. Then it's got the plastic thing here. You get 30 of them. They're not expensive. I think they're about $12. You pull them out and they're soaking wet. And that's what I like. And now for a puzzle product. I have a puzzle product. I've always used secret deodorant. Here I go with my armpits again. This is really funny. This is a sample that was sent to me. And I looked at this thing and I said, okay, it's it's a gel antiperspirant, but then it says powder. So I lift it off the top, lo and behold, and when I lift it off the top, there's all these little, excuse me, there's all these little holes. So then I lift it off this top, and I'm looking in the holes, and I'm going like that, thinking some kind of powder was going to come out. Nothing came out. So I lift it off this top. And when I lifted off that top, there's all gel inside of it. It took me about 15 minutes to finally realize you have to, there's a little round thing on the bottom. And you, you see, see, you squeeze it, and all this little gel comes up. And that's what you put in your pits, in your lovely little armpits. So I've discovered a new deodorant. And that's going to go back in the bathroom. And it's gel, and it's all wet. And I don't like it. I'd rather have the hard, the hard white thing. So, what else is new with me? Um, nothing. There's nothing really going on in my life. There's, it's just really, the weather's beautiful outside. It's like 18 degrees here, whatever that is. In English, 18 and 18 is 36. Plus 30, it's about 66. I've had my door open all day. The cats are going out in the balcony. Um... <clears throat> I've been watching a lot of video, Zuh. not always commenting because of my pissy mood that I've been in, but um, 
I've been watching them all. And um, I wasn't going to do a video today, but then I said, well, you get your RC up and you do a video because I'm getting a lot of private messages. Oh, please, people, with the private messages, I am so sorry because when I get private messages, half the time I don't get notified. And I don't know if it's everybody's or just mine, but when you go on private messages, they just seem to, to disappear. I don't know. Like, I'll, I remember I had 13 of them from uh, Laura Hopkins, and I could only find, like, one or two. Um, and then I'll hear from somebody that they sent me a private message, and finally I'll get into my private messages, and I'll find them, but they're not always there, so it's, it's I hate YouTube's private messages. So if anybody is trying to get in touch with me and they don't hear from me, after they send me a private message, um, my email is there somewhere, or I'll put it at the top of my, I'll put it at the top here of this video. Please send me an email, and uh, you're going to see the name Katie Rose. The reason my email name is Katie Rose is because that's my middle name. And that's when I first started using a computer years ago. That's the name I used to use was Katie Rose because I like it. So that's why you'll see Katie Rose on my email instead of Susie. So I guess that's it. I hope you've all had a wonderful week. I hope that everybody uh, had a great time on Halloween. I don't know if in the States you make a big deal of it like we do here in Canada. When I went over to my son's, um, where he lives, it's a place called St. Lazar, and it's full of big, big, ritzy, ritzy, ritzy houses. They have a ritzy house. And these people were coming with their children in van loads. And my son, well, my, my son's, my son and his wife are divorced, so my daughter-in-law, her house is, is situated on the main, one of the main roads in St. Lazar. And these vans were coming, and I had cities of kids coming at me. I was dressed like a nana. I had all these little wormy things coming off my head. And I was voted the nicest nana in St. Lazar. And I embarrassed a lot of kids with my, with my uh, tomfoolery. So, anyways, I'm sure things are going to get better. It's really nice to be doing the video. I hope that you all have a wonderful week. I hope that my camera doesn't stop working. And so far, so good. And I love you all. I really, really do. Mwah! And uh, I hope that everybody's uh, fall gets off to a better start than mine has. But as they say, this too shall pass. This too shall pass. So, au revoir de Marial. And uh, remember, remember, don't forget. Because if you forget, you're not remembering. And if you don't remember, that means you're forgetting. So never, never forget to remember. Now, when is the last time you heard a good piece of advice like that? Huh? Eh? As we say in Canada. And I will get around to answering all my, my posts. I'm, I'm terrible at doing that. There's no excuse this time. I just didn't feel like doing it. But I will. So I love you all. Mwah! Take care. Bye.